My name is Lance Bartlett. Uh, I'm the Design and Technology uh, Senior Technician at Beach and Cliff School. Bit of a mouthful, it's the Jaguar Land Rover 4x4 in Schools Challenge. Basically it's, it's a competition where the students have to uh, design and develop a, a car similar to a, a Land Rover but a radio controlled version which is obviously about this big um, and it's put through the uh, most difficult sort of assault course if you like uh, that they can pretty much get it on um, and it's how well you do it's various things they look at in terms of the competition for you to pass it includes a portfolio presentation uh, the vehicle itself which needs to be designed and developed by the team of students they've also got a pit display which is you know just sort of a, a general public showing of what they do it's uh, advanced level uh, stuff. I mean, the kind of work these uh, students would need to do, uh, I would argue to win the competition would be degree level or, or even higher actually. Um, so it's original design. Um, they do design level work that would be the limit of what you would normally do within a school. Uh, and if they can go past that, they will. Um, because the course they need to uh, drive the vehicle round is almost uh, impossible, very close to. Uh, for us particularly, there's a, a program that's now available to us uh, free for schools, which is Autodesk Inventor. This this tool is as advanced as it gets. It's the same program you use to design a, a 747 or any sort of major piece of engineering equipment. They're all developed with it. The students will uh, obviously log on to the equipment, uh, load up the program. Uh, they can draw it. Uh, and then I put it straight to be machined through a DXF file. Now, these things are only available within Windows and obviously because we want the ability to send something to China for instance to be manufactured or to anywhere in the world we need that standardized system and the standardized language which is DXF. Of course those three, are only, uh, three things are only available through Windows uh, but secondly you need the graphical power of the Intel NUC to be able to draw it properly anyway. Um, so you can't do it without the, the combination the ICT uh, technician uh, obviously chose the piece of equipment but we had to specify specifically what we needed it to do um, and we needed something basically very powerful uh, in order to uh, deliver that program specifically um, for our students of the future. It's a, a very small uh, device on the back of the computer but in terms of output um, it's, it's vastly more powerful than, than what we've used before. We literally couldn't go forward um, without that piece of equipment um, because that program is completely necessary. We timed the boot speed for a whole uh, room of um, students logging on at the same time on our previous equipment uh, and that came through to something like 14 minutes for everybody to log on. A uh, lesson's only a one hour length so uh, by the time you've introduced the lesson, told them to log on and then possibly one or two haven't been able to because the network's been overloaded or something. Um, basically it's too much of the lesson uh, taken up. Um, that's taken down to under a minute so it's, uh, it's a massive difference.